Hi, so now we're going to talk about the health policy trilemma. So there are three broad goals for health policy, health, wealth, and equity. And the problem is that it's difficult to move towards one without moving further away from at least one of the others. So when you have policies that combat adverse selection um, and increase equity, let's say, you can at the same time increase costs or lower health for some, depending on how you implement it. There's basically always trade-offs and there's no perfect healthcare system where all three of these goals are maximized. Depending on you know, the national health policy system, individuals and societies disagree about which of these goals is the most important. So a country that values social equity very highly might be willing to pay more in taxes to achieve that. So they're fine with moving away from wealth and moving towards health and equity. Um, others might place a really high value on health and might be willing to tolerate, let's say, moral hazard um, or monopoly pricing to achieve that. So if you're willing to um, forego moral hazard, that can cost a lot of money for a healthcare system. And again, you could be moving away from the goal of, health, of wealth to maximize health and, and also equity. So there are these key healthcare policy choices. And any of these policy choices is going to involve trade-offs between these three goals. If it didn't have any trade-offs at all, it would just be a really obvious choice and would probably be implemented everywhere. But the fact is that there's always going to be trade-offs. Um, so the policy options that we're going to discuss this week and for the next couple of weeks uh, are going to look at like how each of these policy options affect those three broad goals and specifically policy options on the dimensions of how insurance markets should work, how to combat moral hazard in the way that people consume healthcare and under a public um, healthcare system, and how should the healthcare providers be regulated? How should the markets for healthcare provision be regulated? So we'll um, look at each of those three questions in the following videos.